Hey friends, I am back. I am talking about storage today for the diamond um, dots. Now, the particular ones I'm, have, I'm working on right now is the diamond dots. And I have my poppies series here. And what I'm doing is storing these beads. So what I have bought and I have purchased was these um, uh, containers. And if you watched my last video, you'll see that I bought these containers and um, they twist on the top um, and I could have you know this is what I got for, it was more affordable um, some people buy a little bit more pricey stuff that is a little maybe a little more convenient like little boxes or something but anyways so I'm opening up my packages and I'm placing them in and I just want to show you that I dumped my beads in here so what I'm gonna do just to show you guys what I'm my plan is What's my plan in my life here? Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just going to move some of these containers out. Um, my plan here, this is my bin here as well. Um, it's like, you know, the um, scrapbook bins and you can pile them up. I use these quite often. I have tons of them full of different um, things like um, crafts for crafts, different crafts. Anyway, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking these apart, learnt to take them apart over top of a bowl because I had to search for some diamonds which was um, actually uh, luckily didn't fall everywhere but I had a few that fell so what I'm doing instead of buying stickers some people buy stickers this is just my cheap way of doing it because I'm very cheap I'm cutting the plastic piece with the sign of the numbers A04 is this particular one Okay, so I'm cutting that off my packaging. I'm taking my Elmer's glue, glue stick, which, you know, I'm rubbing my A, the, the side that's facing the numbers on there. Now I'm just taking my container and I'm gluing that to the side of my container just like this. Now I'm just going to put my lid on. And paste it to my side and that's going to solve my problem of my beads. I'm not going to take, like I was thinking, okay, tape some dots or something to the bottom, but then what if I don't put my beads in the right order? Now I have my beads in the packaging and when I want to take them off and I use up all my beads, I can soak them in water and melt warm water and melt my glue right off and then put the next series of packaging or whatever I want on there. So that's my way I'm doing it. So then I have the numbers of my beads. So I'm just going to take them apart on the perforated. See how that just accidentally opened there? Um, and that's why I picked these up. And these, they were um, under $3, these set of three of these stacking bowls. And that's one reason why I picked them up. Because, um, for one, to have them flying around in here, I have two pieces that fell. Oops, sorry, I lied, three. But... It was better than having a whole bunch in here and having to take all whatever I have in here in this apart. Anyway, so now I have it all in there. It fits in here. The little dish they give you is quite small, so it all fits in here. Um, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just cutting my um, number. And off my packaging, and um, I'm going to put my Elmer's on. And here's my next uh, container that I'm using, and oh, A03. So now I'm just going to put my beads in here, and push them down with my finger because some of them do static to the side. And there we go. And that's the next one. So, I know they have to be like on top of each other, and that might not be totally convenient for some people, but I think, say, I, you know, you know which one you're going to grab, you're just going to go like this, um, you know, and then I could always um, take the lid off of, of another one screw it to the bottom here. It doesn't matter if it's in order that way. And I just want this color, you know, like there's my color on top and whatever. I'm making it up as I go along, but that's how I'm feeling. Like it's um, 
still work like that. So, and then I think I can have a few colors available, easy. That's what I'm gonna try, anyways. I'll let you know how it goes, but I think that's what I want to, how I want to work it. And like I said, once I want to change my beads um, to another set, I could um, easily um, soak them in water, warm dish water type of thing, and then there we go from there. And I think that's the cheapest and easiest. I don't have to buy little stickers. I don't have to spend time as well writing. I mean, it's taking a little couple snips, but I think writing it out, each one out, is just going to take a tad more longer. And, of course, I put my beads in here before I had time, but that's okay, because I'll just slide that down anyway. And there is my my next one right there. Now I'm keeping track of my colors because they're in the containers. And I don't have to worry about, you know, because like I said before, instead of putting it on the lid or anything like that, because you're going to be switching them, flipping them, they'll get them messed up. This is the best way on this particular system that I have. Um, it's the cheapest that I can see looking at Michael's. So. Um, other people have systems of drawers and stuff like that. Those become more pricey. So, I think for me, for now, this is it. So I could just stick that in here. Or just dump it in the whole container, doesn't matter. But yeah, it just tends to, this one didn't, I was a little more careful. But it, it's easily to rip the side of the bag open real easy and then that's that no mess of course I did it again where I you know dumped it in there like and if I dump, dump it in the bowl and then dump it in here I could actually glue it in first but it's whatever that would be the smart thing to do dump it into the little container you have it for and then voila and then dump your diamond beads in there. I'm really excited about starting this um, project. There we go. Da, 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 da. So that is what I'm doing. That's what I've been up to. So what this one I'll do is I'll just open it. And I'll just dump it in here like the way I should be doing it. Dump it in here. And then I'm going to cut it. That way I don't have to worry about getting any beads stuck to the glue. But it's not really going to be. I don't think it would be a big problem. Let's see. So that's my theory. I think it will work. I think because it's on plastic, I think I'd be able to soak that off. And it will be a test to see if it works. That's not even a bead, that's kind of just debris. Bead debris. And if you drop any, you can just kind of lick your finger. <laughs> lick your finger! And then pick it up like that. So there's that sign for that one. That one. So when you're looking for the colors, it's not going to be too hard to find, I don't think. So there we go. Thanks, guys, for watching.